tight pen. Well, first thing I do is, um, because of my my back, I have to now, I can't just open up my stance. I have to, have to drop my right foot back, which then lengthens out my right side. So for a shorter shot like this, I like to drop the right foot back a lot. So I can lean on my left and basically swing the club head so it goes past my hands and past my knee. Like that. Yeah. So. No, I'm, for me, I'm similar. I don't, I don't open up as much, yeah. especially if I'm gonna hit a short, shorter high shot, mm -hmm. I get a little more square, but it's the only time in my golf swing where I'll try to rotate the face. Gotcha. Is in a bunker. Yep. And you other, use a 60 as well or 60, 64? 60. I got to, well, cause I play everything with handle forward. Yep. So yep. this would be the only time though, where I, I'll get the face. I'll try to open it okay. and get as much rotation as I can. It's probably still not much, but right. for me, it's a lot. It's the only time though I'll hit, uh, and I try to keep my hands low mm -hmm. just to get a little more height. Oh, that came out nice. That was awesome. You have your hands back more I set normal? them up with them back a hair, but I don't play it. I'm not a big fan for me. I don't like playing the ball too far forward in my stance, right. no matter what shot I'm hitting, just cause, but yeah, I get the handle low in hands. I try to get back and rotate just to get as much height as I can. Well done. I can actually hit this. Do you thing. do that drill where you dump the sand sometimes? I do. Uh, this is, so this is be, I do this drill all the time in the bunker just cause it helps me get the, get the face open. Mm -hmm. Cause I obviously don't rotate the face in my golf right. swing. So I have to do, do some stuff to get it where I just try to throw it over my shoulder. Gotcha. And that's a way for me to get that. You ever so, practice with other other clubs? Like yeah, those? I'll practice a lot with a 54 or a yeah. pitch and wedge. Yeah, yeah. Because then when I get, when I grab my 60, it looks like I have so much loft. Correct. But I hit a lot of bunker shots too with 54, or like the longer ones just because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's just easier. Instead, of, I feel like I got to swing a 60 way too hard. Correct. But yeah, and then too, that way, I get that feeling when I hit this shot. Do you ever adjust uh, follow through length, either one of you on, on shots for? I mean, if I'm hitting like a- a, yeah, a low one, I'm follow through lower, yeah. or longer, mm -hmm. be more reachy. But I normally- How about on a really soft one? Do you try and finish higher on a bunker shot? Like I mean, you would on a- try to maybe do this to more. A tighter pin? Yeah. I just lean more on my left side. Yeah. And I always yell on every bunker shot, I'm leaning on my left side. Yep. How I'm much weight up. would you say? What, what's it feel like? Probably, <clears throat> I mean, at least 60, 40. Yeah, I'm probably a little bit more in the north of yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah, I like getting the weight left. Because the worst thing in a bunker is to try to help it up. Because right. then you're going to hit behind it. You're going to bounce right into the ball and skull it. What and do you look for in a sole of a wedge out of the bunker? Is it a certain like pattern in the, through the sand? Is it... It's the way it feels when you hit the sand. I think. For me, the, mine's changed over the years. You know, the, just because my my rotation has changed, my ability to to splash out the the sand. But my honestly, my my 60 is made for overall general purposes, where it's yeah. tighter lies here, or sometimes the rough. I've gone with a little bit more, not as much relief on the heel side. But I've kept it for bunker shots. But I like having my my leading edge down, then flaring it open to use the bounce on the back. So, do you play more or less bounce than you used to? I, uh, I would say probably more now. More now? Yeah, because I was at six forever. Yeah. I was six with my sixty, and then eight with my fifty-six. Let's try a little yeah, longer I'm a, bunker I'm shot. I'm more similar, Tim. I'm, for me, I, I want the. I'd rather the wedge perform better off the grass where I used to be worried about how I was performing in the bunker. So to red flag, would you still use 60 all the time on this? Say that again? Would you use 60 all the time to the red flag or would you? If I had this much room, no, I would not. You'd use 56? I'd use 56. That'd You'd be still open it up and use same technique? I wouldn't open it up hardly at all. Just square face? Square face. 
With the 56, yes. I'd use 60 to that one, but that's because I... Like this? Like my favorite bunker shot is to hit like a little low roll in 60, so... See, that just doesn't feel right to me to have to Is that about hit as far as, as you can hit a... Yeah. Yeah, to hit it farther, you gotta... I need... Well, I practice Less my eight lock. iron. I practice my eight iron all the time, so. But sixty for me, I use sixty. A, it wouldn't be much further than that red one is for me. But same like weight, said, you feel. Yeah, talk I mean, us I'd, through this shot compared to the last one. For me, I just I hit this one more. No, I just hit it normal, like my normal golf swing. Mm. So I don't rotate the face. And, right, right, right. I just I just open the face, but still 60 40 weight on the left. Yeah, left. But I what I, what I don't do is rotate the face. So I open the face, but I just don't rotate it. So it's not going to get. Is that more point. of a the opening to not opening? Is it more the length of the shot or the height? More the height. The height. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I can get more height when I when I open it and use the bounce better, so it'll mm -hmm. throw it up in the air. Where this one, I'm not trying to, and I don't want it to spin, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has a little bit of spin, but. It just comes out kind of. How do you play, like, if the ball's over here and above your feet, above, you know, above and below mm -hmm. your feet, what different techniques do you guys use to compensate for that? Like, if the ball's well, above the, your feet. I think the easiest thing for me to do is. Kick us through, hit a shot. When a ball is when the ball is above my feet here, and I say over here like this, um, if we're going, go this Just go tight to the, one. Go to the tight one here. Yeah. Or go to the, the actually maybe go to that checkered yeah. one, the le left checkered one. That one. The left that over one. here, the first one. This one. Oh, okay. so it's above That's your a feet. Tough shot. Yeah. So we got a tough shot right here. Okay. It's kind of a little above your feet and almost a little downhill. And lock. what I do here with it, with the ball obviously above my feet, I choke down it just a little bit. I really try and feel as if my my stance is, gets widened out a little bit more, so I get lower. So it um, puts me more on the arc of the hillside. So, and aim a little further right, and really try and actually try and draw this ball just a touch. Are hands a l just as low as the other shot, or a little higher? Just as low. Just as yeah, low. I play this exact opposite of how he does it. So I, you, when it's above my feet, I try to cut it as much as I can. Okay. It's just how, yeah. how so I've you learned. use same ball I'll position? I'll choke it up, same ball position, but I'll really try to cut it. How about your weight on but this I, shot? Same kind of weight. I do aim a little bit more. Right. I aim right still, but instead of he tries to draw it a hair, mm -hmm. I actually try to. So I aim right because I'm really cutty. How much uh, opening the face? Um, a little bit. So half, maybe. Nice. So I try to cut it as much as I can to get a little bit of the height. Mm -hmm. How about on the other side of the bunker, ball below our feet? Ball below your feet. Ball below my feet. So first things first, ball below my feet. I really try and feel as if I have all my weight on my left foot. And I'm really going to try and swing down the hillside a little bit more. And as, as uh, Dustin was saying, he likes feeling a little cutty here. This is when I would try and basically try and cut it. I would feel cutty and length in the bottom of the swing here. So in, in a normal bunker shot, how often do you try and cut a bunker shot? Hardly ever. I'm, this is about the only scenario where you'll ever try and, and, try and put cut spin bit. on it? When In a normal straight bunker shot, do you I always try, I and try and draw, draw spin? I try and draw it all the yeah. time, but it it doesn't. But it's the feeling of always trying to draw my, bu my bunker shots. It makes me let the club go. So below, ball below the feet's the only time you feel cut I spin. I feel cutty, yep. yeah. So you aim more left to compensate? Uh, no, I don't actually. Because I, you know, I, I changed planes with my hands so much. Meaning? I throw it out in front of me. Okay. There. Good. So it's, it's just more of a feeling of throwing the head out in front of you, and then you kind of stop it. Uh, hold it off from there, yeah. Yeah. How, are you, how do you do this, Dustin? I would aim more left. And just because it's below my feet, it's going to pop out to the right. Mm -hmm. So same ball position. Ball position is kind of middle. I'm is sense, it more forward, play, you think, than the other one? No, I play most all of them kind of out of the mm -hmm. middle, just because that's where I used to try to get everything up. But I don't know. It's just for me, just getting it more middle. I get a wide stance too, hands low. But I'll aim a little more left here.
It, yeah, I mean, I just aim left and yeah, still do the same kind of shot. But I try not to do change too much, just correct more setup. Yeah, everything in setup and set up, then and for then, you it's just a little path. Yes, and the only you, time I rotate, correct. A rotate is on the short, if I gotta hit a short high one. Let's talk about a plug lie. I mean, everyone, I've heard so many different techniques and plug I know, lies. I hear you. How do you play them? So I'll get, I'd play it almost maybe towards the back a little bit. And I just try to pretty much a square face and the hard Pretty part, much a square face to where you're going? Yeah, to where I'm going. Well, actually, I'm a square face and aim left of where I'm going because it always pops out to the right. Yep. Okay. And the hard part f for me is a plug lie. You know, it's buried. You think it's going to it's gonna be really hard to get out. They actually come out mm -hmm. way faster than you think. So it's hard to make yourself not swing so hard. Mm -hmm. You think part of that is a square face compared to you're always using an open yeah, face? Yeah, probably. But the only way yeah. I feel like I can get the ball get the club underneath it is to keep it square so the leading edge will dig in and I obviously depend on how long the shot is yeah. but a lot of times mm -hmm. when we're plugged in a bunker it mm -hmm. seems like we're tight we're always close to it because yeah. it's usually with a wedge or something so we're never like far this shot here you're literally just trying to I'm gonna anything just try to out just of the bunker barely out of the bunker because yeah. it's going to get to the hole so you kind of feel like and I try to just almost go straight down on top of it Just came. Good shot. shot. Came out a little hotter than you thought? Yeah, I mean, but that's the thing. It's it's just hard. So you hard. pick it up and drop it in. I just try to chop it almost. And that's way that way the leading edge always goes in and the ball will pop up. If you try to open the face of sometimes the club will bounce into it and it'll come out really low. So I'm very similar to Dustin, which he says he plays it with a square face. I do as well. I don't open this thing up like that. I keep the face as square as I possibly can, but I really try and feel as if this club head, I take it up over my right shoulder. I just pick yeah. it up and just drop it. I want to have no energy going f past this golf ball. Yeah. Same, same what I'm trying to do. Yeah. yeah that was nice there. Yeah. Popped straight up. So, look at that. But nice. yeah, square face, you still got to aim left because it always pops out to the right. Would you try and get to the top of the ridge in this scenario? or I would try and fly it all the way to the hole here. Yeah, you yeah. got to fly it all the way there with this one. And it's into the wind. And for me, when I get into longer bunker shots, um, it's the exact opposite of, of that short, tight one when I was plugged, where I feel like it's as if I pick the club head or I, or I right over the top of my right shoulder. Here, I feel a, I try and stay as wide as I possibly can with my right arm. So it's not necessarily my hands or picking up, I feel like my right arm stays really wide and shallow. That was so as wide as you would as wide as you'd swing a driver or something. You're feeling feel wise with my yeah. right arm. Yeah. My sometimes my I know my wrists are going to load a little bit, but I try and feel my right arm really stay wide. Yeah. So I have all this room. How about and through the ball? S same release. Same release as a, as a short as same a shorter release. bunker shot. Yeah. That was very nice. I'll yeah, take that, that one. Was, yeah. That was really nice. Yeah, How about up. if you had hit a lower one? Let's say uh, you're going to carry it, you know, just past the black and try and run it out a little bit. Well, Would you move ball back? Move the ball back. Face. In an ideal world, I had, wish I had a, better, uh, a worse lie. So again, I'm trying to really feel wide in my right arm, but this time I'm going to feel all the energy goes into the sand. I'm just going to leave the club head there. Not like that. Yeah, it's got a little diggy, but yeah, generally though, you, you're not gonna play a shot that runs out a ton no. unless you have a bad lie. Right, yeah, that was better. That was like, so for me, I just keep the handle forward and forward. dig it into the exactly. sand. Exactly, dig so it into the sand. So it just comes out. Well, Let's go first, to this first pin here. So first, talk, I'll talk take, always take a practice swing to kind of see what the club's gonna do. And if I see that right there where it digs in yep. and the grass comes up, for me, I'm gonna get in really close, square faced, and I'm gonna try to almost hook it. Yep. So to just, this first pin, will because you're into the green, will you bounce it short of the green yeah, I'm now? A, yeah, I'm a, I would have to land it short because yeah. I'm gonna try to hit it as low, 
just so I can, so I'll get in close, almost tow it in a little bit. Just hands so I, higher when you hands do that? Hands higher, um, just so I can get a consistent strike. Because if you try to hit this, Oof. hit a high one here, <laughs> it could go anywhere. Yeah, that's a tough so, shot. Yeah, I'm almost toe in, hands a little high, and hit a little bit of a hook shot. Awesome. Landed just short. Because it's just not, I mean, it's the only way I can catch, Yeah. just from living down here, playing in this grass, it's the way that I have to uh, do it to catch it solid. That was pretty good, too, first time with this Similar wedge. technique for you? You know, if I was, like, instinctively, if I just would stand up to the shot, I'm looking at bumping it. Yeah. Here, <laughs> but since we're going to try and play a different shot since this, we're here, I would then move it onto my left toe, put all my weight on my left side, weight on the left toe, ball, I said ball off the left toe, weight on the left foot. Just try to clip it. And really try and feel as if that my release point is in front of, a, in front of the golf ball. Try and hold on to it. Yep. Real good. Yeah. Is that a... That's a scary shot. That yeah, is. I mean, it obviously, is. you got a lot of turf and a yeah. lot. Would you normally want to see no, I, a little smoother than no, that, or is no, that an no. okay I, It's against result. the grain. Who cares? Yeah, so it's but just yeah, going to... the grain, if you're it's, gonna hit, it's going to dig. So I think a lot of people chipping into the grain, they, they, they're they trying to always not get the club stuck. It's one of the two so shots. Kinda, Either I bump it or I hit that one. Yeah. yeah. Around here, because you, you just don't have any other option. No. Yeah. On that shot you just hit, yep. was that a draw feeling too? No, that, that was not. No, that, that was, was a cutty. Hands ahead. Hands yeah. ahead. Try to get the hold and just hold it just through, hold it. like square. Yeah.